Hey friends, uh, so today we will uh, do a small lesson on the states of India and what I have done here is I have just taken a political map of, map of India which has all the uh, states marked out and uh, uh, there is one state that is not and I will mark it during the, the lesson. Uh, so alright, so you know so and to understand the names of the states in India, it's very important that you remember the map because if you actually, uh, you know, remember the map, map geographically, it will be quite easy for you to, to you know, name the, the various states. Uh, so, all right, great. So, you know, before we start, uh, I'll just mark the neighboring countries that we have here. So, we have Pakistan to our west and we have China here in the northeast. We have Nepal here. Uh, there's a small gap out and after that you have Bhutan and the one below here you know in the eastern part of the country it's uh, Bangladesh right so I think this will also help us to remember the names of the various states so we'll start off with the northernmost state uh, that you can see here on the map but this state uh, as a lot of you will know and many won't it's uh, Jammu and Kashmir right so that's the northernmost state in India so all right so once you're done with Jammu and Kashmir you'll see there's one state which is to the south of Jammu and Kashmir covers uh, most of that part the one here so this is Himachal Pradesh and uh, so I will not tell you about the capitals as that will you know be bombarding you with a lot of informa information uh, so we'll basically do the capitals as a separate video uh, so after Himachal Pradesh, uh, you will see there is a state to the west of it in a triangular shape uh, and uh, it, it borders Pakistan uh, on, the, on the west. So this state here is Punjab, right? And uh, right below Punjab, there is another state uh, which is almost equivalent in size, uh, slightly different and that state is Haryana, right? And there's one another small state left. So you basically see this is a cluster of four small states in this area. So we marked Himachal Pradesh, which is just south to Jammu and Kashmir. We have Punjab to the west of it. Haryana is to the south of Punjab. And then the one remaining here, which borders Nepal to its eastern side, is Uttaranchal. Right, so we've covered the northern part of the country. We'll uh, now take the eastern part up. Uh, which is also you know comprising of about uh, four to four states and uh, it'll be easy to remember so there's one state here which is quite large in size in the east and it borders Haryana here it has Uttaranchal to the north it has Nepal to the north and this state is Uttar Pradesh Uttar Pradesh also happens to be the most populous uh, state uh, in the country and so after Uttar Pradesh to its east you'll see there's a state which borders it almost completely on the eastern side and that is Bihar. To the south of Bihar you'll again you know see there's another state which is almost equal in size and uh, and covers the entire southern portion of uh, in southern boundary of, of Bihar. So this state is Jharkhand which was actually you know uh, uh, broken out uh, Bihar was separated and these two states were separately formed one was the uh, with the old name Bihar and the new state was called Jharkhand to the east of Bihar and Jharkhand you will see you know uh, a state which is quite sort of thin in terms of width and and it's pretty uh, elongated here and, and it also has Bangladesh to its east this state is West Bengal right so we'll leave out the north uh, eastern part of the country for last because you know I want to uh, take a little bit more time in, in sort of helping you remember all these states. Uh, so after West Bengal and, and, and Jharkhand here, there's a state you know which borders these two states uh, on the southern side, right? You'll see, and it also has the, the Bay of Bengal uh, uh, on it. So so this particular uh, state is Odisha. You know earlier it was known by its older name Odisha. Uh, but now the state but the name was changed and it's now called Odisha all right so ODI SHA uh, so to, to the to the east of Odisha you will see another pretty elongated you know a long shaped state uh, here so this state is uh, I'll write it like this is Chhattisgarh right and to the south of Chhattisgarh and Odisha you will see a you know a pretty large sized state but this is actually not the present scenario. So what has happened is 
uh, I'll change the color of my ink. Uh, so this a new state has been formed, uh, breaking down the older state, and the new state covers an area uh, somewhat like this, right? So this state here. Uh, so this now it's two different states now. The one uh, that sort of borders only Chhattisgarh and not Odisha is Telangana. And the one that slightly, you know, borders uh, Chhattisgarh a bit and entirely the entire Odisha and it also has the, the uh, Bay of Bengal to the east is Andhra Pradesh. Right. To the south of Andhra Pradesh, you will see another uh, triangular shaped uh, state which is also very close to our southern neighbors, uh, Sri Lanka. So this state is Tamil Nadu and uh, to the to the east of Tamil Nadu uh, which covers the entire eastern border of Tamil, border of Tamil Nadu is uh, is a long coastal state uh, which you know which uh, is also like uh, uh, one of the southernmost states in India it's Kerala this is Kerala now we have come covered almost all the South Indian states except for one which is remaining here and this remaining state which borders Kerala and Tamil Nadu on the southern side and Andhra Pradesh and Telangana on the on the eastern side is Karnataka. Right to the north of Karnataka you will see a pretty small state here uh, you know it's, it's, it's like surrounded by this huge state here and, and Karnataka in between so this state is Goa, right? Uh, I'm sure everyone has heard of, of Goa and you know it's quite famous for its beaches. So here is, is a pretty large state that covers a huge part of central India and is bordered by Chhattisgarh, Telangana, Karnataka and a small portion of Goa. This state is Maharashtra, right? And so now we are left with three states in this area. Now you'll see this is an absolute central state. Like you know, you'll, you'll feel like this is the center of India. So remembering that, it's easier to remember that this state is Madhya Pradesh. Madhya in Hindi would mean central, right? So after covering Madhya Pradesh, we have one state which borders uh, Maharashtra on the southern side, and this state is Gujarat. Uh, Gujarat, uh, as you know, is the home of our present Prime Minister Narendra Modi and this remaining state here that borders Punjab, Haryana on the northern side is also borders to Pakistan, has Gujarat on the southern side, has Madhya Pradesh on the, on the you know, southeastern side. This huge state is Rajasthan. Right. So we have covered almost all the states in the, in the country except for the uh, northeastern states. So we'll do this. Uh, these sisters, uh, they are called the seven sisters quickly. This state up here, which is, uh, you know, in between Nepal and Bhutan and has south, West Bengal to its south is Sikkim. Right. And now if you see the rest of the state, there are two states which are, you know, quite larger in size when compared to the others. The one here, which is, you know, like in a, in a, in a, in a, in a sort of a U-shaped manner in, in the absolute northeast. Uh, bordering most of uh, like its border is mostly comprised by China and Myanmar here. So this state here is Arunachal Pradesh. Right. And this a state to the south of Arunachal Pradesh which looks like a you know a, a, a three mode prong. It looks something like that. One face here, one face here, one face here. So this three pronged state is Assam. And to the south of Assam, there's a uh, there's a you know state which borders Assam on the which has Assam on the north and Bangladesh on the southern side. So this state, it also sort of looks like a cloud, you know. So you can just remember use that to remember that its name is Meghalaya. Meg in in Hindi again means uh, clouds. So this leaves us with four states here. The one that is you know bordering Bangladesh on the uh, to to its uh, to its western side is Tripura. And so since we have segregated most of it out, we are left with three states here and it's pretty easy to remember this one state which is, you know, uh, which is, uh, which, which starts with N and there are two which start with M. 
So the one that starts with N is the northernmost and is Nagaland. Right? The one which is like a, a boxy square shape is Manipur. And the one that you know uh, sort of has most of uh, uh, borders a lot of area with, with Bangladesh here and Myanmar to its east is Mizoram. Right? So now you can see that you know we have named all the states uh, in the in the in the country and it's not at all hard to remember this. Don't you think so? Right. Thank you so much.